welcome back to a cheap wolf collection yeah, i have a package today that i've been really looking forward to recently every time i get a package you know whenever the company updates tracking or the seller sends me tracking i don't really check up on it i'm like it'll show up when it shows up not this one this one i kind of kept updating the tracking to see when it would come because i was really excited for this package but before we get into the wonderful box of goodies i'm going to show in this video today i want to extend a special welcome to the channel or welcome back if you guys are subscribers to a cheap wolf collection my name is brooke i have a hair in my mouth got it out of my mouth. I am a collector of many things. I do unboxings, reviews. I snack occasionally on this channel and I go live every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Time. If that is of interest to any of you guys out there, please slam that subscribe button and join our growing pack on YouTube. Can I just say, look how nicely packed this box is. You see that foam exterior? A lot of care went into packaging this box for shipping. So this is a box from Taiwan. If you guys don't know, or maybe you do because you follow our Sailor Moon updates on SailorMoonFanNetwork.com, the best Sailor Moon fan site for up-to-date news of the franchise, there is a shop and cafe just for Sailor Moon happening in Taiwan, and it's happening still even right now. It started in August on August 4th, 2023, and it's going all the way to November 5th, 2023, so it's still ongoing. And this cafe and shop is amazing. It's a pop-up, so it's not going to be around forever. It is temporary. I just told you guys those dates. But there is lots to do there. Not only can you shop, you can eat, you can buy a pressed coin, you can experience the Sailor Moon photo booth. There's specific gash upon just for that Taiwan shop and cafe there as well with like stamps and I think there's puzzles. We have all the details on SailorMoonFanNetwork.com. I'll uh, provide the link down below if you guys want to see some photos of the cafe and the merchandise and the food. I mean, this thing is like a Sailor Moon's dream. I really wish I could actually go to Taiwan to go experience it, but alas, I've been spending a lot of money lately. So traveling to Taiwan before November 5th is not in the cards for me. But if anybody does have the means to go, or maybe you're even closer and it's a little cheaper for you to travel um, to Taiwan, please let us know what you thought of the cafe. I do have some friends who live in that area who have helped us get the photos for our site and they said it's a definitely a Sailor Moon's fans dream come true to go experience that and this is not the first time Taiwan has done it they have done a few cafes a few pop-up cafes and shops in the past as well they're out there doing some really cool things over there in Taiwan and I'm so jealous I wish we could get something like that here in the United States. I know a lot of you guys agree. I think it would be super successful if any kind of company could do that and make you know specific merchandise just for us. Cause that Taiwan merchandise, what I'm about to show you guys what I got, and you can see a lot of it on the blog as well, is specific to Taiwan. So you can't get it in any other country except Taiwan. They have exclusive goods just for these pop-up shops and cafes. I do want to talk about the goodies. I did get a few things. Now, since it is in Taiwan, uh, there aren't any ways to get this outside of Taiwan unless you go to the shop and cafe in person. So you do have to use a proxy to get any of the merchandise that's coming out over there. There are a few options available. I'll have a, a Sailor Moon Fan Network blog post linked in the description below for a few options for you guys to choose. I personally used a Instagram user called a Bin Bin. They have been so incredibly sweet and kind to me over the few years and I've used them on occasion. Um, they just, I don't know, I just get good vibes from them. So that's who I personally used. I'm not sure if they do orders for like masses of people, but they were the ones who helped me get what I need. But we will have some few options for you guys in that blog post below. If you are interested in grabbing anything from the Taiwan Shop and Cafe before November 5th, there is still plenty of time. But I wanna show you guys what I got. Like I said, they packed it super nice and it looks like they gave me a crunch Akko, which looks freaking fantastic. You know, Kurt and I are going to try this together. Kurt's my snacking guy. We love trying snacks together. So maybe we'll go live or something trying this together. Thank you so much, Abin Bin. If Abin Bin ever watches my videos, you are amazing. Thank you so much from the bottom of my Sailor Mooney heart. <laughs> Appreciate you doing this for me. Now, there was an extensive list of merchandise that Taiwan had at this pop-up shop. I wanted a lot. 
I had to hold back. I'm not made of money like a lot of people on the internet like to believe. So I only got a few things. But I was really excited because a lot of the merchandise coming out over there is beautifully designed compared to the United States as an example and they have artwork that we don't typically see in fact you know in the United States as you guys know Eternal and Cosmos artwork isn't even licensed here yet so we only have Crystal and 90s artwork on merchandise here I hope we see that changed soon we absolutely deserve Eternal and Cosmos artwork man Eternal's been out for a while and we haven't seen any merchandise yet. The first couple of things that I pulled out, these are little mini tapestry wall wall scrolls, <laughs> kind of a tongue twister, featuring uh, Eternal Sailor Moon and the starlights on this one. There was two types available uh, from Taiwan and I got both of them because I thought these were really unique and I didn't want to miss out on grabbing these while I could. And I also want to shout out a Bin Bin who picked this stuff up for me one more time. With the list of stuff that I asked them to get, a lot of stuff ended up selling out. They were going to go a few times again in the future and they said, hey, I'll go back and I'll make sure that, you know, they restock and I'll grab it for you uh, if they have it. So they were really nice uh, to keep me in mind and to try to get me the items that I asked for, even if they were sold out at the time they initially went. I'm just going to pull everything out of the box first and then we're going to open some up and really look at it. Oh my gosh, what is this? <gasps> I don't think I requested this. Is this a freebie of Bin Bin? Oh my gosh, it says Pretty Guardians of the Moon Cosmos the Movie Card Collection. This is a Oh, it's not for sale piece. I'm just, this is like my first reactions pulling this out of the box for the first time. If I don't know right off the bat what it is, we're learning together as we go. As you guys can see down here, it says not for sale. This is a gift, a Bin Bin. Thank you so much. We will definitely look at that in just a bit. How sweet. Oh my gosh, I have to set this on the floor. This one looks a little heavy. Oh man. I didn't realize this was gonna be so big, a Bin Bin. No wonder it was kind of pricey when I asked for the price of, of this. Now I'm not like upset that I got this. Holy crap, did you guys realize that this is this big? How many of you guys saw the, um, the cases when, you know, I was sharing um, fans' stories and videos of people who got to go to the cafe and of the merchandise. I think GHL also went. GHL is another proxy for those of you guys who don't know. I was sharing a lot of the, the uh, pictures and stuff when these people were going. They're not in the pictures in a lot of times. Actually, I don't think I saw anybody in the, in the photos or holding the items to where I could, you know, scale it to a human hand. Look how big this is! Oh my gosh! I don't even think it was literally that expensive. Like, I thought that it was much smaller, and I think I, I paid like $50 for this case. I'll have to go back and look. I'll, I'll pop in a post-production on what I was charged by a Bin Bin for this case. When I saw that price, like, oh man, because I thought it was smaller. So I was like, dang, I, I'm buying this for $50. But now I completely understand the cost of this. Look how thick that is. And it's really hefty, too. Oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. I wonder if they put the rest of my items inside something. I bet you they put it inside this case. Maybe that's why it's so heavy because <laughs> there's nothing else in the box. Well then, I guess we'll just start with this. This is a Sailor Moon Cosmos case. Now, I am not sure the official name for this. It does have a little sticker right here. And oh wow, it has feet too that it can sit on. Let's see if that sticker says the price. Yeah, no clue. But again, I'll just show that sticker one more time before I open up this package. I'm not even sure if this is the original plastic wrap for this. Maybe a Bin Bin just wrapped it up for me. But I'm pretty sure the rest of my stuff is inside here. That's probably why it was so heavy and why I was like, dang, this, this thing is heavy for, for, you know, what it looked like. Oh my gosh. I love the texture on it. It's like a little mini luggage. What is this? It's like a little strappy strap on the back to, you know, put something back there flat, maybe? Oh no, or maybe on your luggage? Is that for your luggage? I really don't know what that is. I love the the feet. Oh my gosh. Um, it's like soft vinyl plastic for the handles. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, here, let me show you guys the uh, close-up of the front there. There was, I believe, two different designs uh, for this case. And you can see the other design. I'll pop an image on the screen of the other design so you guys can see. So there was two to choose from. If I'm not remembering correctly, I will always have a post-production little note on the screen. Wow, I 
fit remove that on the little oh my gosh look at how the little zippers are there's a they're like a strange shape i've never seen that before neat here we go it's like christmas i haven't gotten a box like this in a while oh my gosh it's a, look how like just beautifully like carefully tucked in there all the other items that I requested from them. Look at that, a bin bin. You are so sweet. We're gonna go through all of this together. You guys, I think even this side right here has stuff in it. I'm so excited. Okay, so this item right here is a cup holder from the cafe. I love that they're using officially licensed stickers too to wrap all my stuff in, or maybe that's how it came. I don't know, to be honest with you. Again, this is something that I am unable to go to, and there's not a lot of information out there besides photos, um, but I will have to ask. But at the cafe, if you order like a certain drink or something, I believe, you get this little drink holder. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, so I requested a Sailor Jupiter. I don't think I got, I think I got a, a Sailor Moon one too, but super cute. I thought this was like one of those really unique items to grab uh, from the Taiwan uh, pop-up shop and cafe. I'm gonna put it back in the bag because I really love that they used that little Jupiter sticker. What is this? I don't think I ordered this either. I think this is another freebie. Oh my gosh, a Bin Bin. Oh my gosh. Looks like they got me one of the one of the air fresheners, I believe. My little Mooney heart over here. So sweet. <gasps> yes, that is so cool. So it Oh my gosh, I just basically opened it, but it is a Sailor Moon Cosmos air freshener sealed in that bag. Comes with a little tie. That is adorable. I do want to point out all of these items are officially licensed. I'm sure you guys figured that out by now, but just wanted to make sure I do say that. And then here's the other drink holder. This one is like a more premium one. So it's like that fake pleather type of material. And this one I did request. I thought this one was really cool. It's got the Eternal Moon article right there. I thought that came with a strap, but maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't. So you can like pop that on any kind of cup or drink and then it has little holes that you can attach some sort of strap to and then the little tag look at that what does it say does it open up to say something you know what i don't know what this is um it does not open up i thought it was a tag that you can open up but it's just that and then it has you know the copyright on the back this is really nice material it kind of has like you know it's like popping out a little bit like a little 3d effect and then on the back says Sailor Moon Cosmos. Please let me know if any of you guys out there also ordered some items from the Taiwan shop and cafe. I'd love to know what you guys chose to get out of the vast merchandise that was available for this cafe. Here is the little tiny jewelry box I dropped something. Oh it was just a little, little something something little something something little something something. Here's the little jewelry box. And now I knew that this thing was small. <laughs> it's so cute. I, okay, so the reason why I wanted to grab one of these jewelry boxes, I feel like there isn't a lot of, um, well, there is, there is, there are some officially licensed like Sailor Moon jewelry boxes, but they're from Japan and I missed out on a lot of them. But I do have a lot of jewelry nowadays that is Sailor Moon specific and that's licensed that I want to keep nice in my collection. And I thought, what perfect opportunity to store it in an officially licensed Sailor Moon jewelry box. Oh my gosh, it's so strange that the tag just kind of hangs out there in the packaging. It's not attached like a lot of tags normally are. There is the Toei Animation sticker. I always like to show that. I, I always think, you know, as collectors, we really appreciate like the packaging, the tags, you know, the stuff that is usually thrown away. I feel like a lot of us collectors really do appreciate especially when it has Sailor Moon artwork on it. This is the front of that little jewelry case, really beautiful. We've got the inner Sailor Guardian's bows and brooches on there. It's like a pleather-like material. The zipper is a star, cute. And then this is how it looks when you open it up. So we have a space for, you know, rings, earrings. Um, I don't know what you put up here, but these are really stiff up here so you can hang something from there And then it has a little little small pouch that you could put some loose items in as well So that's definitely gonna be handy for the collection. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> Tell me if this is silly. I'm gonna keep the tag in that little pouch 
I always want to keep that stuff and preserve that stuff as a salesman collector, even if I'm gonna use it. So I just tucked that tag right there. And we're still not done. We're still not done. Oh, here's the strap. I thought that there was a strap. Oh my gosh. This is the strap for that drink holder. So sorry. I, I knew there was one, but I didn't know that they were packaged separately. Look at that cute strap. Oh my gosh. So it's got that fake pleather stuff in the middle, the same color as the pink on that Moon Article um, cup holder part. And then we've got a gold chain um, entwined throughout it. I wish I had a cup down here to show you guys. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make an Instagram reel or a, t or a uh, YouTube short. And I will show what this looks like, you know, hooked up with a cup of some sort for sure. I always like to do like a little bit of uh, like B-roll type stuff, especially on my my social media pages to try to get people to, you know, follow me on those platforms as well as, you know, get notified that I also have a YouTube channel too. Well, I film in 4K and I show you guys um, a lot of these items in a longer video format. But isn't that cute? Like just picture a little cup in there and then, you know, you're just holding it looking all cute that's awesome i love it okay these are cool af did you guys see that these are actually coasters i these were really popular a lot of um sailor moon fans who got to go to that taiwan shopping cafe this was one of the most popular items i saw collectors and fans buying and these are the coasters and now these are cool because they're filled with water they're filled with water and i believe i got every single one of them these are nice. It's just filled with gold glitter. Okay, here is coaster number one. They are pretty hard, of course. They're not gonna be movable at all because it is filled with liquid. Um, and then you can turn it upside down, you know, get that glitter flowing, you know what I'm saying? And so beautiful. There is the back right here showing, you know, the copyrights and all the official information right there. This one is just the magical items of the Eternal Moon article and the Eternal Tiare. And then we have the inners with a pink background. This one, I believe, has the same type of glitter. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. The first one had gold glitter. Oh my god. Oh, I thought that... Wait a minute. This one had stars in it too. So the first one also has iridescent stars. Now this one, I thought it was the guardian symbols at first. I thought they went the extra mile for us, but nope, it's just little tiny hearts. But I got excited there for a minute, too excited even. Uh, but here we go with um, Moon and her main gals right here. Beautiful coasters. These are beautiful. Can you just imagine, like this is one of those functional items that even if you're not a collector would appreciate. Like if you're a Sailor Moon fan and you know, you're working an office job or you work from home or you work wherever where you know you have a drink, boom. Sailor Moon drink coaster right here. Functional item for every Sailor Moon fan. I know I'm trying to sell it. Like I'm over here selling all these products. And then we also get Eternal Sailor Moon all by herself. Now this one has the same glitter as this one and with the same little hearts in it. Did any of you guys grab these coasters? Please let me know. Remember how I asked earlier if you got anything from the Taiwan Shopping Cafe for 2023? I gotta know. I wanna know what you guys are out there buying. What are your must haves? What can you not live without before the Shopping Cafe closes November 5th? This one is beautiful. Wow, it's got blue iridescent glitter in it with stars, naturally, of course. Perfect for the Sailor Starlights. These are, are amazing. Now these were on the pricier side. These were over $10 each for the coasters, but you can tell why. Um, they are thick. You guys can see how thick they are. They've got water in it. Um, I believe, I mean, it's got a hard plastic shell and they're beautifully designed. And then of course we got the three lights. This one has gold glitter on it. <laughs> This is so cool! Say ya, Taiki and Yaten! Gosh, I can't wait for Sailor Moon Cosmos the movie! No news, you guys. Absolutely none as of filming this video about Sailor Moon Cosmos coming out internationally. There is that rumor, but I don't believe rumors until I get an official source. Ooh, we got a new glitter in this one. So this is the Moon Kitties, Luna, Artemis, and Diana. Now it does have purple glitter in it and then little, little iridescent circles in this one. So cute. Last but not least, friends, we've got Chibi Moon and the Outer Sailor Guardians with the same glitter as the 
the moon kitty ones. Can't forget them. So cool. I really like these. If you guys want just one thing from the whole collab, these are really cool and worth it. Although shipping for just one coaster might not be worth it. So you might have to just get all of them. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. We still have the whole other side to go through. Oh, also, I think this is the tag for this case. It is. So the tag is right here for the case. It looks like they had to cut the tag so they could open it up and put everything inside. But they kept the tag for me. How kind. I don't even remember what, what else I got. So I'm trying to think. What else did I order? Oh, I remember now. Oh my gosh. This is bad because I don't remember exactly the collab on the top of my head, what it was called. It was like a 7-Eleven Taiwan collab, I want to say. I'm going to have to put some post-production on the screen about this one. So let me give you a backstory about these items that I'm about to get go through. It's three items. And we actually blogged about this on SailorMoonFanNetwork.com. There was a collab with, well, this one says Latin, but I know it was sold at like a convenience store i'm pretty sure again i'm gonna put the post production on there because i did blog about this at one time and i had all the information but this was months and months ago and i don't remember on the top of my head so i asked the bin bin i was like can you grab me some of those items and they're like yeah but they're pre-orders so they won't come for a while and i said okay that's fine so i had these on order and they just came in i believe a couple of weeks ago right on time for shipping for my huge taiwan order <laughs> so that's what these are we are going to open them up I don't even know if a lot of people ended up getting these via proxy because they were a pre-order item. So I don't know if, if many like content creators even did any content on this. Oh my gosh. Check out the blog down there in the blog, down there below in the description. I will have the blog to all the products that were released for this entire uh, collab, but this is one of them. And this is how they come. They come in, in their own bubble wrap envelope here. It's gorgeous. And yes, it is Cosmic Heart related. There's the own tape right here. We will be very careful. Oh, it's completely sealed. Wow. Oh, but it's not. Oh, it is kind of sticky. <laughs> Opening up this together. How exciting. Come on. Woo. Okay, so I was just able just to kind of peel it open. Oh, so exciting. oh my gosh. We got that. Look at this little container. Holy moly. Holy moly, I wanted to curse, but I didn't. I held my tongue. Oh my God, oh my God, obsessed with the container. There, there I go, obsessed with the packaging and not the actual item. We have a little booklet. I'm opening up this booklet. Oh my gosh. Must be some care instructions. It says Latin makes you beauty. It's an accessory brand, it looks like. Here's that. And on the back, that's where it has their little slogan. And then as you open it up, that's all that is in there. However, we have a little card with the jewelry. That's right, it's jewelry. I'm remembering now it is jewelry. So it should be that inside this little container. But how thoughtful and cute for the pre-order items that you don't just get this, they put it in a very cute package and bag for their customers. I love this packaging. I know I kind of freaked out and I showed you a little bit of it uh, before, but I'm just gonna show you guys a little bit more in detail. It, yeah, it is the right way. Um, on the side there, the other side with the toy animation, you know, copyrights. I absolutely adore this packaging. It looks like it just slides right out like that. Oh my gosh. And it's in this little gold, like champagne color container. It has a Sailor Moon logo on the back on the sticker oh my gosh i don't know which way i'm assuming you open it this way you do this is the top <gasps> this is so cute okay i just have to show you guys how it comes it comes like that you release the beast out of the container it's beautiful i can't remember if this is the necklace or wait a minute i think i got both so i think i got all the cosmic cart stuff this this looks like a bracelet so this one is the bracelet. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. I think it just has some of the uh, Inner Sailor Guardian colors, maybe? We got Jupiter, Mercury. Yeah, their, their red is just different. Yeah, okay, yeah, right there. Because I, I was thinking, I was like, why is that such a deep red? But that's gotta be for Mars. And then either the pink could be for Chibi Moon or the pink could be for Sailor Moon. But they do have all the uh, inner colors right there. 
And then it also comes with a little pouch to keep it all nice. That is such an amazing presentation. Gosh, why don't we get this kind of stuff here in the United States? We are behind the times. Which way would be the front? I don't know if this would be the front or this would be the front. They both look like they could be either or. I guess I should have, oh, I'm gonna have to look back at the video to see which, which side that came out on because this is definitely the top. So you guys know, but I don't. Of course, I'm gonna have to keep all this packaging because it's Sailor Moon, of course, of course. And then we also have this one, which is also by the same brand. And let's see if I can remember correctly. I believe I also got the necklace. There was a necklace, I believe, that was a Cosmic Heart, a matching set with that bracelet. Let's see if I remember correctly. This is a fantastic box to open up today. I'm excited. Okay, so we got the same deal here. We got the little, oh my God, I just realized uh, in the logo of the Lawton, it's a, it's a cat chasing a ball. I didn't notice that at first. Same ordeal here, just shows you, this is the ex exact same as what I showed you guys in the first little bubble envelope. So we won't go and look at that again. Nothing to see there. Aha, this is the front. So this is the front. Aha, ha, 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 ha. Okay, there we go. That's the front, like that. This will be the back. At least according to this one, because I looked at this and I saw that that's on the top. And we know that's the top. So this one has a different little wrap around sleeve. We got Sailor Moon Silhouette there on the front. And then we also have, oh, it's different. It's different on the back. She's doing her Oshikyo pose in the back here. Beautiful, beautiful. Is this the necklace? It's in there like that. Yes, this is the necklace. Okay, so we have a matching necklace and it kind of looks like a double necklace. Oh my God. Oh my God! It has the tiniest little logo on the back. That is so cute. Did the other one have that? Did the other one have that? Hold up, sorry guys. Uh, let me just hold that up. Oh my God, it did it just, you couldn't see because it was on the other side. <gasps> flip around because it'd be easier to see on this one ah, I give up I give up I'll show you on the other one I'll just do some b-roll so y'all can see <gasps> oh okay so this one's like a double necklace so you it looks like a double necklace see how the second part the not the cosmic heart part has that thinner uh, gold necklace part and then I'm gonna see I'm gonna hope that it shows you so on the back and I'm gonna kind of explain where this is there's a little tiny charm that has the Sailor Moon International logo on it. It is so cute. If my camera picks up that little tiny logo, I'm gonna be so happy that I don't have to pop in some B-roll. That's what made me go crazy just for a sec because how cute, how cute and super detailed did they get with that? We're not done, we're not done. I can't wait to make some additional reels on these products. I don't know, I just feel like a lot of people hadn't seen these yet and I wanna show the world. Okay, now this thing, I'm, I'm hoping it's charged. I'm not sure if it is. This is a mirror, I believe. And this was another pre-order item. There were, I believe, two to choose from. Now you're gonna notice it's Crystal Star Compact. Brooke, what the heck are you buying Crystal Star Compact? Are you cheating on your Cosmic Heart Compact? Yes and no. Of course, if there was a Cosmic Heart Compact option, I would have got that instead. However, there wasn't, there was only two different designs and here are the designs that they had on the back. I got the Crystal Star Compact because I saw a video on it and I thought it looked really cool. So I'm hoping it's, go it's going to look just as cool in person because yeah, you guys are right. <laughs> you guys know, I, I don't typically buy Crystal Star Compact accessories. If it's a Proplica or a toy, Oh, I will. Oh, I will. You got to have them props. But when it comes to accessories, I'm going to skip out on every compact, usually, unless they make a Cosmic Heart compact. Uh -huh -huh. Here we go. There's those two designs that you can get. Comes with a little charging cable, type C. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, man. I like the other one. Darn it. Had Luna on the inside. What? Okay, well, you can see the other design right here. Luna, Luna's on the mirror part of this one. Um, but let's see if we can't get this little puppy to work. And if not, I'll have to do some B-roll. I don't know if it's charged off 
the bat here. Pretty simple, pretty plain. It's, you know, it doesn't have as many, you know, details as the front here. Okay, but it's a good size. You see that size? This is a, a compact mirror, travel compact mirror, right? Has a nice finish to it. Oh, please hope it's charged. Oh, hi, it's me. <laughs> uh, this is how it looks like on the inside. I hope you guys can see that. If not, I'll pop some B-roll in and if it looks great, there won't be any B-roll, just deal with it. <laughs> it's charged, it's charged. Usually things don't work out like that. Okay, so I just followed the instructions. It says, you know, push the crystal in the middle, right? It looks like there's a film on here. Excuse me? Excuse me? It's a full-on mirror? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Ah, I love it! I love it! Oh my god. You can tell it's been a while. I don't remember, you know, some of the details of this thing. That's why it wasn't working. That's why it wasn't working. It had that thick ass film on it. Sorry for overreacting. Let me, you know, bring myself back a notch. But isn't that cool? Check it out. Fingerprints, fingerprints. It's definitely not a hard press. There we go. Tap, 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 tap. There's a sweet spot. Look at me getting good at it. Okay. It's like a tap, 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 tap. So I just be like, boom, boom. Wow. I love it because the light is at the bottom. So when you look at yourself in the mirror, the light is illuminating your face. <laughs> and that is that from Taiwan. Now you know why I got that. You know I would love a Cosmic Car Compact, but unfortunately they did not have that. So, <laughs> oh yeah, we were gonna look at some of the other things in detail that I got. So this is a card collection file. Let's open that up and check it out. This was the not for sale item, which, that is so freaking nice of a bin bin. Oh my gosh, you got me a card! <gasps> so there are cards that you can collect. I oh my gosh, I don't know the details on the top of my head. I'll pop it in post production. She got me Sailor Cock or Princess Cock you as a little freebie. This is so cute. Now I'm gonna have to hunt down the, all the other cards to put them in this incredible card book. How cool is that? Not only is there merchandise that you can buy, you get a freebie. And then if you go to the shop and cafe frequently, you know, they'll have different cards during different times and you can collect the cards. That is so fun. Collectors love this kind of stuff. Companies, you need to be doing more things like this. Give us a free product like this to where we will return time and time again just to collect a different card and fill our books because I promise you, a lot of us will if we have the opportunity to. This is nice. Thank you so much, Bin Bin. And the card is really cool. It's like a glossy, I mean, I mean, it's just a paper card, but you know, that's what all cards are, right? It's really cute. Oh my God, that's so nice of them. I love that. I always love to use that in like a sarcastic way. I love that for you. I love that for me. I think it's so funny. <laughs> I'm easily amused. What else have we not showed you? Oh yeah, the tapestries. I'm really excited about the tapestries. Okay, 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 okay. I showed you guys the packaging, right? Because this is just a sticker on the packaging. Um, we will open it up. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, I'm excited. Now these aren't large, but they're the perfect size! Oh, this is nice quality. Holy crap! Oh, 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 oh. Not mad I spent whatever I spent on this. We got the little, little hooks at the top here. Beautiful. I'll have some B-roll showing you guys this entire thing because I don't think I'll be able to show it to you like in its entirety unless I do this. Oh, this is wonderful. I love it so much. Beautiful. Oh, and the colors are just fantastic. Do you see how it's kind of like cool temperatures? It's beautiful. This would be beautiful hanging up in a collection room. Oh, I am going to have to find a space to hang this. This is definitely hangable. I love how it says, you know, Cosmos at the bottom. So many of us are just waiting on news for that. Let's roll this puppy up for now so I can show you guys the other one. Guys, while I'm thinking about it, hit that like button for me. It really does help my channel. I know it seems like a simple thing, but if you watch my videos, please take a, little, a small moment of your time what just happened. Brook! Oh, I popped the cap off. 
Okay, so the caps are uh, removable, so you can take out the little hooks. Well, well, well. Oh, that's in. Oh, yeah. Hit the like button for me, please. I, I really, really, really would appreciate that. It does help the channel. Helps me grow as a YouTuber and content creator. And you guys, I am trying my best to learn how to just continuously make good content fun content for you guys. I want to learn how to be a better content creator every day and your support of watching my videos, hitting that like button, subscribing to the channel, following me on my socials, all helps me do that. Not only for myself and my abilities, but so you guys get decent content to watch as well. I, I want to continue to learn and grow as a content creator. I mean, I don't know where I'm going with this other than just, you know, trying to get you guys to engage more. A lot of you guys are, are really good at engagement and engagement is liking, commenting, sharing, all of that. And I can't thank a lot of you enough for, do, for uh, doing that. It really does help. The more engagement, the more we, us content creators grow. So remember that if you, you know, can't support your favorite content creators with actual money or tips, engagement is just as important and it's free for you. You guys ready for the other one? So this one just has Eternal Sailor Moon on it and it is pink themed. For those pink fans out there. I love the material. It feels more than just cloth. The quality is immaculate. <laughs> I love these! Let me just show you, these are really really beautiful the artwork is super nice the colors are just so vibrant and you know you don't see any pixels at all like when i say that the quality is good take my word for it it looks amazing i'm very happy with what i got i really really am does anybody ever have spending money remorse like even though you know you will absolutely love what you purchased you don't like how much you spent on it. That's me. Initially, when I bought all this stuff, I felt really, really bad when I got the bill. A bin bin was like, your stuff is in. And I'm like, oh, ho, ho. I didn't know I spent this much, a bin bin. It happens. And then I'm like crying to my husband. I'm so sorry I spent, you know, almost $300 on stuff from Taiwan. And he's like, baby, it's okay. It's okay. But I get buyer's remorse all the time. I, I really do. And, it, and I feel bad for spending a lot of times. And that's just something that, you know, I go through. I don't know if you guys go through it too, but I go through it a lot. Usually when I spend a couple hundred on something and I don't do that as often as I used to. So whenever I get a box or, you know, a product's coming out that's like 200 plus dollars, I feel really bad about it. <laughs> Opening up this stuff today, just, you know, you guys saw the joy, I'm sure, on my face. I'm like, okay, I don't feel as bad anymore now that I have everything in person and I got to hold, I got to touch it uh, and see that it is tangible goods and not just, you know, something floating out there in the universe. I also want to just quickly show a couple of things that I have got that I haven't done content yet on, but I hopefully plan to soon. I got these from Doki Doki Goods, which is another wonderful Sailor Moon collector. They did um, a pickup for some of the Sailor Moon pool toys. And I have done content of some of my other Sailor Moon pool toys before, and they came out with some more. So this one is a swimming ring with all the inners. And I've had these for like a month or so already. I will be blowing these up and showing you guys some content um, on how they look when they're blown up. But for now, I just wanna show you guys the packaging and also shout out to Doki Doki Goods. Thank you so much for grabbing these for me. Um, these are, I believe, Hong Kong, right? Yes. These are from Hong Kong. And again, it's very difficult to get stuff from those countries unless you know of a proxy that can do pickups in those areas. Cause you know, this stuff isn't shipped overseas from the retailer. So you have to rely on a personal proxy pickup person to do this. And these are made by the same company, I believe who does the paper fans, Magic Art Limited. So I got that one. And then the other one is a beach ball and it has Neo Queen Serenity on it, Sailor Moon and uh, Chibiusa on it and Artemis and Luna. <laughs> Uh, I can't wait to see what these look like. I also have a blow up uh, Cosmic Heart Compact. I also have a um, one of those floaty boards that you know people used to you know float on. What are they called? The swimming board? I'm not sure, but those are from a previous uh, collab in Hong Kong. But I wanted to show you guys that I got those. Expect like a YouTube short or a Instagram reel on these whenever I get around to doing that. And then I also got for you guys out there 
who know that I love socks, I got this, this is also made by Super 7, which can I just ask you guys to do a favor? Everybody who's watching this video, if you haven't watched my socks collection video, which is maybe one or two videos back, can you guys please go watch that video? It is doing not so good on my channel. I think it hasn't even reached 600 views yet. I wanna show you guys my socks collection, even if you aren't into socks or Lightyear or Toy Story or anything, please just maybe watch a mini minute or two of that video to help my analytics on that video. I know, you know, my demographic here, it's mostly anime, it's mostly Sailor Moon, mostly Pokemon, Disney, etc. For some reason that video is not even reaching, you know, the demographic that it is for, you know, like Pixar and Toy Story and Lightyear and stuff. So if you guys could just go watch a minute or two of that video, you might even enjoy it. And also Socks is a character that it's worth watching Lightyear for. Socks is amazing. But I got this. This came out, uh, like I said, from Super 7. And the little dude is really freaking cute. Like they did him very well. So just a new socks item in my collection, trying to be the biggest socks collector ever. And then the last thing I got, I got some of these uh, Morinaga, which you guys have probably heard me talk about the brand Morinaga before. These are the same brand that is doing the Sailor Moon uh, Cosmos cookies. They uh, came out with these princess, Disney princess, uh, little chocolate cookies. They're chocolate filled cookies, my bad. Actually, some of them are, are strawberry filled. Kurt and I did try some of these before. They've also collaborated with other brands too, um, like Frozen. Kurt and I tried the Frozen ones uh, in a video, I think a year or two ago. I'll pop it in right here on the screen. If you guys want to watch us try the Frozen ones, we will definitely be trying these in a video as well. I think I'm just going to go ahead and combine it with this. We're just going to do a video just tasting some new products that we got, including all these. Oh my God, look at Flounder and look at Pascal. I just noticed them on the box. Isn't that cute? There's Flounder right there. Pascal right there. They also had Belle. They also had Jasmine. Do they have anybody else? They have like a group of Disney princesses too. Um, I do have some B-roll from an Asian market that we went to in Oklahoma City where they had these too. But I got these at a local uh, Asian market here called Grace Market. But I did take some B-roll footage uh, at, the, at a different Asian market that I also saw them at. So I'll pop that in so you guys can see what the other ones look like. Uh, these are actually really good. Um, I do recommend trying them. And each one has a Disney princess printed on the little little biscuit cookie but these are good they're they're delicious i'm trying to think if i have anything else to tell you guys i don't think i do i just want to make sure you guys know i appreciate your views so much please let me know what you guys thought of this video what did you guys think of all my taiwan goodies oh my gosh looking at my floor holy crap i have a lot to clean up and i also i'm gonna need to make some reels on some of this stuff so I have my work cut out for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you guys got anything from Taiwan or if you changed your mind. If any of this stuff that you saw in my video today entices your interest and you want to grab something, you still have time up until November 5th is when the cafe and shop closes and you can use one of the proxies that we have in my proxy guide down there in the description for you guys uh, to grab it now with the proxy there will always be a pickup fee and it's not always guaranteed that the stuff will still be in stock all the way through november 5th i do want to put that little disclaimer out there but you can try and also you can check the secondhand markets too like mercari ebay and those type of places sometimes um even like usa uh people and collectors will buy something from taiwan and find out hey i don't really want this anymore and they'll sell their items too so keep that in mind too little collector tip for you guys out there if you're looking for any of this stuff if you have any specific questions you can drop them below i'll try to get back to you guys the best way honestly if you have a question that needs an answer immediately is to direct message me on instagram i check instagram several times a day and that's the best way to get in touch with me me, but don't let that discourage you from leaving a comment still down below. I just want to know what your guys' thoughts are on what I got today. Thank you guys again. You guys are awesome. I feel like a seal. <laughs> Should have that sort of a beach ball with me, you know? Today's a good day. You guys, I hope you're having a good day too. Bye.